As an entrepreneur, building the right team is very important. And if you have a tech product, there are two things that you cannot ignore. One is your actual app or software and the website that you will use to promote that tech app. Now, if you don't know how UX design or web design works, it's going to be very difficult for you to hire the right kind of people ask them the right questions and give them the correct direction. Because as a startup founder or an entrepreneur, there are 100 things that are competing for your attention. And if you hire the wrong people in the beginning, especially your UX designers and web designers, then you will waste a lot of time, energy and resources going back and forth on your designs simply because you did not know how to build the right foundations. Moreover, every time you interview a good designer, even as an intern or a full-time employee, they always check if you are clear about what you need to do, if you know the basics of product design and web design. And if they see some kind of uncertainty, they either exploit you by giving you weird excuses and taking more time than required, or they simply don't join you because they feel that you don't have enough clarity. In this course, I'm gonna give you a complete overview of how product design works, what is UX? What is UI? What is web design? What are the tools that you need? What are the things that you need to look for when you're hiring your initial team? What to prioritize when you're building your MVP? How to build a system without going into the nitty gritty details? Because you don't have to become an expert. You simply need to know enough for leading your team for giving them the vision, for giving them the right direction to execute properly without wasting time or resources. So this entire course is split into mini mini chapters and videos where we will understand all the important concepts behind designing your first product, designing your website, what are the tools, who should you hire, what should you see in their resume before you get them on board, what do you need to tell them, what are the tools that you should be working on, what are some very very cool free resources that you can use to get inspiration to document whatever that you're doing so that you save a lot of time in the longer run and your first product itself gives you a head start. Plus you will also get to know some very common mistakes that young designers, entrepreneurs and startup founders make when they're beginning their journey. So I can tell you that we're going to have a lot of fun. You can always post your comments. You will have ultimate resources mentioned in each and every module but I really want you to finish each and every video properly because if you skip even a single video you will lose out on a lot so I would recommend you to make sure that you're opening these videos on a regular basis figuring out what you need to do what you need to pick from these videos and apply them in your own startup my objective is not to convert you into a ux designer my objective is to make sure that other designers don't fool you in a lot of cases entrepreneurs and startup founders hire people who don't have the right foundations they don't know how to build a system they don't know how to build proper libraries how to scale in this course we will understand how scalability works how a system is built so that you spend less amount of time building the components and more amount of time putting the product live, getting feedback, iterating on that feedback and simply solving more problems. In a lot of cases, you will actually meet designers who will fool you or manipulate you with deadlines and objectives and wrong priorities simply because they don't want to do something. But as the leader, as a startup founder and entrepreneur, you need to know what matters the most, what is most important when you're building your first MVP so that you can tell your designers that, hey, I understand that this is what you want to do, but this is the right scalable way to move things ahead. We won't go too much into the web designing aspect of it. I am covering it simply because a lot of uh, founders confuse between their app and their website. They feel like only one designer is required and that one person is going to satisfy their web designing requirements, their app designing requirements. That is not how it works. That is why we will cover just a bit of it. I will be sharing a lot of information and free resources throughout the course. Now, if you don't document things properly, you will forget as we move ahead in the course. There is one free tool that I want you to download and use while you complete this course. And that is Notion. It's absolutely free and very easy to use. It's basically like a digital diary. You have pages and you can add text, you can add videos, you can add resources. Every time I mention an interesting resource, every time I mention a tip that you think is valuable for you, note it down in your Notion because 
Our brain is great at having ideas, but it's not very good at remembering those ideas. Whatever that you learn in this course is going to help you for a very long time. But I don't want you to rely on your memory or handwritten notes because you can't carry your diary everywhere. But Notion is accessible on your phone, on your desktop. This is not a paid promotion. I have been documenting everything that I learn on my Notion pages since 2020. And trust me, it has saved me a lot of time and a lot of energy simply because every time I want to remember something thing i want a specific resource i just type it and i find it instantly now you can download notion very easily i will put the link below if you want to learn the basics there's one video which is around seven to eight minutes it is uploaded by notions youtube channel i will put the link just watch those eight minutes trust me investing these eight minutes in learning notion is going to give you 100x returns in the longer run you can use notion for a lot of things like portfolio cvs resumes you know timetable all these interesting things in fact notion has their own free library of templates you can check that out as well you can go through their free templates duplicate it put in your data but you don't have to do any of those complicated things right now I simply want you to make sure that you have one page in your Notion diary where you're documenting everything that you learn in this course. Trust me, when you finish this course and all the documentation, you will thank me for recommending you this tool. With that being said, let's go ahead to the next module. I'm very excited to begin. I will see you in the next video.